last video, I discussed three useful websites that you can check and use your skills to earn money online. One of which is Freelancer.com. Freelancer.com is a marketplace of ideas, skills and talents where you can work and earn from doing what you love. So whether you are a freelancer or want to begin your journey with freelancing, Freelancer.com could be the right platform for you. So let's start with the video and see how you can make the best use of your skills and earn money online with Freelancer.com. Firstly, you should start by signing up for a freelancer account which is absolutely free. However, they also have membership upgrades that can help you to earn more such as by getting more bids per month. Alright, to create an account with freelancer.com, you need to wear, uh, visit their website and here I am already on their website. Now you need to click on sign up in the top right. Here you need to use your email address to create an account with freelancer or you can also use your Facebook account. Once you have entered your email address and you have created a password, simply click on join freelancer. Here you will be required to choose a username for your freelancer account but keep this in mind that you can only create your username once, you cannot change it later so make the selection carefully alright. Once you have decided a username, you click. You need to click on next. Here you need to select the right category. So if you are looking for jobs, you simply need to select I want to work. Now here you need to select your skills uh, so that freelancer can recommend you the right job. So whatever is your field, you need to select the right skills that you have. Alright, so you can also choose from the category that are mentioned here or you can even search for a skill right here. So I'm going to go with writing and content. Here you can see for which skill they have how much number of jobs what number of jobs they have so for article writing you can see 390 jobs for content writing for copywriting and so on so you need to select as many skills as you have and this will start appearing on the right and you will also see the total number of jobs that are matching with your skills once you are done selecting your skills, you need to click on next in the bottom right. Now here if you want, you can even link your accounts such as your LinkedIn account. But if you want, you can also skip this step for now. Now here you need to give your first name as well as last name. So make sure you give in your genuine name as this will be used for identity verification. And if you will not give your real name, it might create some issues in getting payments and withdrawals. All right. So make sure to give complete genuine information about yourself and click on next now here you need to explain them what you what do you do and describe yourself what is your field all right just i'm going to write any description for now so that it moves on to the next step so that's it and i don't want to continue this is just for the tutorial purpose click on next in the top right Sorry, bottom right here you need to select what languages do you speak and your date of birth click on next in the bottom right now here you need to give your real address as this all will also be used for identity verification and only your city and country will be shown publicly on freelancer.com so they will not display your complete address but it is still required for identity verification once you have selected the address and everything you need to enter your postal code as well click on next in the bottom right now here you need to verify your email address that you have mentioned in the first step so you need to open your email address and verify it. Once your email is verified, you can move on to the next step. And here you are required to verify your payment method. But if you want, you can skip this uh, step for now and you can add the payment verification method later on. All right, when you start getting projects. So you can skip in the bottom right. Again, you can skip for the plus membership. So yeah, that's how you can create a free account on freelancer.com. The next step is to set up your profile. You will need to add your personal information such as your profile picture, skills, 
qualification, education and experience that will make your profile look more presentable and will also attract more projects. All right, now to edit your profile, to set up your profile, you need to click on your username that is given in the top right and then click on view profile. Here you will get the option to edit your profile and you can set it up so that your profile looks attractive to the employers all right and they will give you more projects you can attract more projects that's the only way for a beginner on freelancer.com so you need to click on edit profile and here you can give a summary that you have already given you can add a profile picture and you can also tell what field are you from moving on you can even add your portfolio portfolio items what you have done so far you can you will get reviews as well you can add your experience what experience do you carry and your education your qualifications or your publications if you have so these uh, uh, these uh, things will depend on your skills what skills you have mentioned all right i have mentioned content writing that's why i'm getting the option for publications but maybe it is different in your case so that's how you can set up your profile and make it more presentable this is the step where earning money at freelancer.com actually begins you need to find projects that are relevant to your skills you will also find that hundreds of projects and contests in different categories are posted each day on the website all right to find jobs on freelancer.com you will get the browse option right here you need to click on it and you will see that you can search by projects you can search for contest or you can directly search for freelancers and you can also save the projects you find you are interested in and this section using this section you can access all your saved projects and contest opportunities all right so projects and contests are two different things projects are just a regular project that you will get or you can even participate in contest with other freelancers from your field all right so yeah you can click on projects and this will show you all the projects that are currently available in your field along with the approximate budget budget that the client is offering all right you can even see the country or what they expect out from you so that's how you can browse through jobs on freelancer.com and if you find any of these in, if you are interested in any of these you can simply click on it here you will get the details so what they expect from you 1200 words with many times inside the article the keyword about 50 times all right so they have clearly mentioned it and now they have also mentioned the budget so now if you are interested in this uh, project you need to bid them uh, for that first of all your profile should be completed so i haven't updated my profile picture you need to update that and here you need to select a, a rate for them uh, that you want to submit to that client that this is the rate that you are accepting for their project all right so that's how you bid and that's how the freelancers bid on freelancer.com and the client will uh, see what a bid they find suitable for their project they will accept it and that freelancer will get the chance to work on that project so that's how it goes on freelancer.com all right you can even save this project right using this uh, bookmark icon and you can also get some information about the client from which country he is uh, from our and how for how long he is a member of freelancer.com so yeah, these were the important things that you should know about uh, getting freelancing projects on freelancer.com this might be the hardest but the most rewarding step before starting make sure that both you and the employer are aligned in terms of project scope deadlines and the milestone payment so there will be no issues coming along the way also you should have a signed agreement in place to seal the deal so make sure everything is clear between you and the employer before you start working on a project the tips to make good money on freelancer.com is to stay consistent when it comes to timeline budget and communication you can also use the inbuilt chat box to communicate 
or can even install their mobile app to stay updated with the employer. Once you get paid as per the agreement, you can withdraw your money via PayPal via transfer or your nominated local bank account. Also, you should always give your best to earn 5 star feedback as that will be a great addition to your portfolio and will also help you in getting more projects. So this was the detailed information about how you can start earning money from freelancer.com. If you are already a part of this platform, you can share your experiences in the comment section down below so that others can learn from it. Also, it may take a few days before your bids start getting accepted. So have patience, stay focused and put your best foot forward. With that we have reached the end of the video if you have any doubts related to any of my video do let me know in the comment section down below and i will see you the next time